that. Something in here. Nothing. There's nothing in there. Maybe it was wishful thinking that there was something in there. Enough people to deal with. <laughs> uh huh. Rusted can. All right. Put some canned asparagus. That's lovely. Jesus. Yeah. Split pea and ham soup there. Why is there candy? Candy good. Oh my goodness. Looks like somebody pooped their pants. These are all very stained. Really just looking for Levi's. We got no cart, so we're improvising. Someone got a ball brush chia pet over there in that cart. I sold one of these once already. This one's in pretty bad shape though. Yeah. So probably not there. Ripped. Journey into China. It's the D. Well, not worth it. An R as well. Wonder. TJ Maxx. Probably not. tough issues for teenagers. A lot of them in here. Play down. Looks like Beyblade. Looks like it's missing some pieces though. People are such vultures for like the new bins. Oh, really vultures. New bins. Look at what's going on over there. It's too much. Someone's bathing suit. Nasty old shoes. I feel like everyone looks for different things, so I don't really even bother going into, over to the new section until people clear out. Inflatable mattress, I'm sure it's popped. Another one. It's brand new. Give it a shot. Somebody's octopus. Don't know what that is. Butt cushion. Oh, this 
looks just awful. I want nothing to do with that. Whoa, these are like old gas overalls, but they're really gross. So that stinks for them. Make your own Monopoly. That's interesting. I gotta know. Huh. That's weird. Do you ever feel like sometimes the bins are just extra grody? I feel like today's one of those days. I feel like people are getting good stuff over there, but oh my. I just. Christmas blessings. Oh, dog ball. Small jar. Anita and John. Hmm. I hope they're still married. I was told I could keep my stapler. Nice coffee mug. Oh, I think it's still still new. Not dishwasher thing. Yeah, this is a cute little coffee mug. Sun Microsystems. Isn't that like a computer programming company? I don't know. I'm getting this for myself. This is definitely a, a seller. People love these old books about like drying flowers and stuff. And I feel like somebody actually did press flowers in here, maybe. So that's that's a taker. Huh, Kennywood hat. Yeah. Well, so that was like a grody stuffed animal. Like what? What is this? Just trash, just random garbage. Some nasty elephant. Oh my god, baby backpack. Some plastic margarita glasses. I just like wish I could find something that like, oh, Winston Churchill. I don't think so. I love when people just abandon their computers. Like, did they even wipe the hard drive? Oh. Everybody likes that record. Bert. Don't even know who that is. Chesapeake Balloon Association Pilot Report. Fresher seminar. This is like neat, but I don't think anybody would buy it. I mean, I would buy it because I like obscure weird things from other places, but that's going to take a special someone. Mag's my butter. This is a new one. Everybody, I've never found a jar of the most disgusting looking pickled beets I've ever seen in my life that expired in 2015. Oh my God, look at them. I'm gonna literally vomit right in this bin. This is the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, look. Canned corn. Who, what is going on? Why didn't they just throw this in the trash? <gasps> oh, I don't even wanna touch that one. Oh my God. Oh my god, Mother's Other Canned Goods. Now this is awesome. 1982 World's Fair glass. That is cool. Let me just drop it on the ground probably and break it because I don't have a cart. Oh, the food continues. We have some fresh asparagus. And it's like, look, moldy beans. Pea soup with ham. Uh-oh, Disney books. Missing one. 
one. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Well, somebody really must hate this dude. Sorry. Somebody just literally gave your picture to Goodwill. I feel bad for him. Just throw stuff like that away, but I guess somebody wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't. Oh my god, that lady in the black striped shirt over there. I don't know if you can see her, but she's here every week, every Sunday. Maybe she's here more than that. We come on Sundays. Look at her, she's throwing up stuff in the book bin. That's a book bin. They really frown upon her. Anyway, she's awful. She pushes and she's like, I don't know what she does with the stuff. Um, she is rude. Well, let me tell you. Super irritated that she just did that, but whatever. You know what? People just don't care. Mm -hmm. It's a lava lamp that's no longer lava. It's an inchworm. Oh dear. Chicago. Home of the blues. Hmm. I hate buying electronics from the bins. They never work. Every now and again you get lucky, but it could be horrible. Oh my god, look at this. Powerful profits from slots. Yeah, um, how about just get a job? This looks cute. There's cats on it. <laughs> the brace place. I don't know. This isn't looking good for us. Last week was so good, though, that it's hard to top that. Demo tape. Like that. Something in here. Nothing. There's nothing in there. 
Maybe it was wishful thinking that there was something in there. And that wraps up that Goodwill Bins adventure. Um, wasn't the best day, I'll be honest. Uh, it was a little junky in there. Um, you know, it it seemed like uh, they had a bunch of new stuff, but the new stuff they had was not good. Um, we did find some good stuff, and we weren't really going there to load up anyways because uh, we do have a lot of inventory. You can kind of see some of it behind me. Um, and we really were going for... Uh, quality not quantity so i think we achieved that uh this time around so just go through a few of the highlights from there um first thing uh we got this uh walt disney uh fun to read library um we got books two through uh 18 and so we're missing one in 19 but uh even still we saw lots of seven or eight of these selling for like 19 20 dollars so and um, these are in really good shape there there's no real writing in them um, there's the, all the pages are in them, so they're and they're not dirty or either, and they don't look like they've really been uh, well used at all. So uh, these are vintage; they're from like the 80s, late 80s, I think 89. So they're in really good shape, and uh, these should sell. Well, old Walt Disney Disney stuff sells great. Um, so yeah, we got those. Uh, I got a spark plug, one spark plug, lawn and garden spark plug. So it's probably for a lawnmower. Um, these, you know, I'm not going to get rich off of this, but, uh, they will sell for more than I paid for it without a doubt. Um, probably three or four bucks, maybe five. Um, so let's park look, uh, this book, what to expect when you're expecting, we've sold a fair amount of these, um, and they sell pretty quick. It's a 20 or $15 book brand new. So we typically sell them for 10, uh, and they, they do sell relatively quick. So. I uh, found this uh, copy of Short Circuit, sealed, DVD. Um, they're going to remake this movie, so I figured this might actually be something that someone wants. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is a movie from the 80s about a robot that comes to life and befriends a couple people. You know, there's a lot more to it, but that's the general idea. Um, so yeah, it's a sealed copy. It's probably worth four or five bucks, but still, grabbed it. Uh, and then we grabbed some records. Uh, we grabbed... Uh, the Tijuana Brass Band. Uh, this cover is iconic, and it's a really popular record. Most anybody that collects records has at least one copy of this. A lot of people have multiple copies of this. Um, this one, uh, it's sealed, so I don't know if it's worth that much money. I looked it up, and the only thing I could find was a cassette tape um, by him. In fact, this exact album that was selling for right around $30. Um, so I'm assuming the LP will sell for right around that. Maybe, maybe not, um, but it is sealed, and it's hard to pass up sealed records for a, less than a dollar. So, uh, we got Gordon Lightfoot. This is a two LP uh, Gordon Lightfoot album. Um, it's in really good shape, so pick that up. And then we got Burt Bacharach, uh, also popular record, probably about five bucks, six bucks here. So, all these LPs are in really good shape, so they should sell no problem. And we are selling a lot of records lately, so these will help supplement that. Um, and that's really about it. Um, if you guys, uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, and if you enjoy watching videos like this, uh, subscribe to the channel. It's uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, we do try to do, uh, trips to the Goodwill bins at least once a week, sometimes once every other week and sometimes twice a week. You never know with us, but, uh, it does happen. And, uh, if you do subscribe, you'll see a lot more of this. So, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That'll help you. Uh, you'll get notified actually, whenever I do upload new videos. So yeah, do that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir.